Hey everybody, our cruise on the Oceana Vista begins right here in Italy. We are in Rome in front of the Colosseum and we're here a few days before boarding the beautiful Oceana Cruises Vista. As I walk on board and am greeted by the Oceana Vista crew, I am excited to start showing you around this magnificent ship. Let's have a look. The Oceana Vista has a lot to do and offer its guests. There's an art studio for anyone wanting to be creative, bars and lounges with floor-to-ceiling windows for the best views of approaching destinations, a casino if you're feeling lucky, Broadway-caliber shows in the ship's main theater, shopping for world-class brands in the onboard boutiques, places to sit back and relax like the pool and its surrounding decks, are dining in one of the many delicious restaurants. Rome lives on forever in one's heart. That's why it's nicknamed the Internal City. So let's head up to the top deck for one last Arrivederci to Rome and its port of Civa da Vecchia, the Old City. As the Oceana Vista approaches our first destination, you'll see a city perched on what looks like a giant rock. There is no ship docking in this city, so it's a tender from the ship to shore, and what a beautiful view as we get closer to this city. Welcome to Sorrento, the gateway to the stunning Amalfi Coast. Viewing Sorrento from above, you see how the city towers over the bustling yet intimate port. When this city was founded by the Greeks in the sixth century BC, it's obvious why they chose the location. The city has a perfect vantage point to see anything approaching by sea. But did they know what they built would be appreciated thousands of years later for its view of the sea from the city? I am going to visit a family here in Sorrento that makes one of the world's favorite things to drink. By late August to early October, these vineyards will look much different because it will be harvest time. We just arrived at the Sorrentino Winery in Vesuvius. You know, the Sorrentino family has been creating wine for five generations. And I'm about to take a tour and show you around. Cheers. Because this area was devastated by the volcano Vesuvius, the soil is rich in minerals, which makes it a perfect condition to grow grapes and make wine. When it's harvest time, these roads are bustling and all the vines are full of grapes. We had a chance to sit down and enjoy many different varieties of the Sorrentino's family wines. And because we're in Italy, the family had to serve us some great food to go along with the wines. The Sorrentinos did not disappoint. Their wine was really delicious and very special. We are back on board and we must say goodbye and thank you to the charming city of Sorrento and the Sorrentino family for hosting us. Entertainment and activities on board any cruise are a vital part of the cruise vacation. And I'm here with the gentleman who's in charge of all of that, the cruise director, Paul Baia. Paul, how are you? I'm doing great, Bill. Great to see you here aboard Vista. Nice, nice to be here. What a vessel. We're very proud of her. That is certainly indeed. Yes. Tell me about the entertainment on board. Well, we have some great entertainment offerings for the guests each and every day. But one of my favorite, the big show that we have, that is called Into the Night. Yes. And this kind of takes the feeling of your American Idol style type show show and also is choreographed by the famed Brit Stewart of Dancing oh, wow. with the Stars fame. So really one of my favorite shows and a must see. 
a ship this size is really one of the smaller size vessels in the entire cruise industry. But to have a certified pickleball and paddleball court there, it is one of the growing, fastest growing sports that we have out there. So to have that course right here on board is quite special. On top of that, we have our 18 hole miniature golf course. Wow. There's a shuffle ball court. There's uh, also the bocce croquet from time to time. Even some indoor outdoor bag of games for the guests to remain active. Where do guests go for enjoyment? Well, Horizons Lounge, forward on deck number 14, is a great venue. Each and every day, we have our string quartet entertaining there for the afternoon tea. Uh -huh. Also, we have our piano bar on deck number six, whether it's live music there or just a co cozy place to grab a book. Our library is a great spot also there on deck number 12. And ladies and gentlemen, we are here inside the Grand Lounge, which is a nice venue right between our grand dining room and the main atrium area, mm -hmm. where our string quartet are also here on a nightly basis with specialty sets. Of course, the excellent service that we have with our seven 750 plus crew from around the world and those hidden little nooks and crannies for guests to just escape as we like to say create your world your way. Paul pleasure interviewing you can't wait to see the show tonight. Yes it's going to be a big one we'll see you there Bill. See you there you bet. The Polo Grill on board is a five-star dining experience. From the elegant decor, world-class wines, to the exquisite food, it is truly a top recommendation for dining. And the Galician veal tomahawk, which we had for dinner, was out of this world. It was cooked and seasoned to perfection. Our first full day on the Oceana Vista was Magnifico, Buono Note. We just arrived in Messina, and behind us we have a beautiful view of the Oceana Vista. And now we're gonna take a tour of this wonderful city. Messina is located on Italy's largest island, Sicily, and is nearly 3,000 years old. I'm standing in front of its most famous landmark, the bell tower of the Cathedral of Messina. Inaugurated 90 years ago in 1933, the bell tower is the biggest and the most complex mechanical and astronomical clock in the world. The bells ring every quarter hour. So if you don't know where the bell tower is, look above and follow the sound of the bells. We took a little ride to a beautiful little town called Terramina, and behind me is this private island that was once privately owned, but is now a museum called Isla Bella. It is beautiful here. I can't wait to explore the rest of Terramina. It's a gorgeous little town, and in spite of the rain, we're gonna have a great time. Terramina sits near one of the world's most famous active volcanoes, Mount Edna. A great city for walking and discovering you seem to stumble upon a beautiful piazza or a hidden alleyway around every corner. And there are Juliet balconies full of colorful flowers everywhere. It's a photographer's delight. When in Terramina, you must visit Roberto Cemi's Patisseria for a famous cannoli. Even the Queen of England stopped in for one of these tasty treats. They are delicious. And we just arrived at the Greek Roman theater. This is the second largest theater in Sicily and the views are panoramic. Originally built in the third century BC by the Greeks for theatrical purposes, it was later used for gladiator battles by the Romans. Let's get back on board. We have a very important meeting. We're here on the bridge of the Oceania Vista with the master of the vessel, Captain Luca Munzi. Captain, how are you? Very good, and you? Very good, what a pleasure to be here. What a ship. My pleasure, my pleasure. Tell me about the technology on board, in particular, the technology on the bridge here. 
technology on the bridge has been uh, upgraded and uh, updated uh, in the past. We still follow the same principle, but with the aids to navigation uh, given by all the technology and all the electronic uh, that we can get. Of course, Vista is a very new ship, so we have the latest technology available uh, for the officer on watch, for myself, during maneuvering and during the operation of the navigation. I'm very impressed on board the ship by the, uh, the, the positiveness and the happiness of the crew. How do you get such a happy crew on board the ship? We have crew that have been with us for uh, more than 10, 15 years. So you can imagine, wow. they really appreciate the company and the way they are treated uh, by the company. And every contract, of course, we try to, to give them some uh, new benefits that uh, makes their life easy on board and their operation as well. So. Are there many opportunities for people to actually meet you during the voyage? We have uh, opportunity, official opportunity during the Captain Welcome Party, during the Oceania Club Party, where we are uh, uh, inviting guests uh, to, to meet us. But of course, even during the day at lunch, uh, I get uh, many times stopped by the guests asking sure. questions about the cruise, the weather, and uh, whatever they have in mind. Captain, what a pleasure to interview you and be invited on the bridge uh, today. Very, very exciting, and look forward to the continuation of our voyage on the Oceana Vista. Uh, much success in the future. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you very Thank much. You. Ciao. Thank you. On my way to show you the veranda suite, guests enjoy the beautiful day poolside with drinks, food, and some relaxing time. The veranda suite is elegantly designed and very spacious, and you will want to indulge in the spa-like bathroom and soothing rain shower. The penthouse suite is grand, with lots of space to sit back, relax, and enjoy your alone time. A double vanity, extra large shower, vulgarie and aqua de palma amenities, and full-time butler service and you have stepped into the lap of luxury. Stop and have a rich, delicious coffee or warm, soothing tea at the Baristas Aperitival Bar. Let's explore some more dining experiences like the one we had before at the Polo Grill, which, by the way, is the same as the famed New York Polo Restaurant. Now that's Italian, a Tuscana restaurant with appetizers like fried calamari and octopus crespaccio. The food here tastes as if you're dining in the heart of Italy. While specialty restaurants are all the rage, there is nothing like dining in the grand dining room. And the one here on the Oceana Vista is beyond beautiful. It is absolutely stunning. And the food and service equally match the decor. Both are superb. At the Red Ginger Restaurant, they have all the Asian favorites you may be craving, like curry, ramen, bulgogi, and teriyaki. For a cozy, casual dining experience, Ember is the place. Enjoy a lobster roll or some fish and chips made with Chilean sea bass. There is nothing like running with a view. The floor-to-ceiling windows in the gym give you a vista of the world. The Aquamar Spa is a great place to escape. A relaxing and soothing atmosphere sets the stage for the perfect massage, manicure, or facial. Or just enjoy some of the amenities like the sauna and steam room. You will leave feeling energized and revitalized. And the outdoor area with a jacuzzi right off the pool area and deck is a great place to have a glass of champagne. You know, food on board any cruise ship is a huge part of the experience, and no one does it better on the Oceana Vista than Alex, the culinary director. Alex, how are you? I'm great, thank you very much. This is a tough question. Do you have a favorite dish you recommend guests to try? That's a, a tricky question because uh, I like all the food on board, but. If I have to, to go by areas, of course, if you go into Toscana, we go more to the French pasta. If you go into the steakhouse, Polo Grill, obviously we go for a different cut of our prime beef, or even from the new cut that we have introduced to Vista, of the Galician beef. If you go into Red Ginger, obviously we have our signature dishes, which are the watermelon and duck salad and the miso sea bass. And now our new baby, if I might say, Amber, where it's more American family style cuisine, where we are born in ribeye steak. 
which are very popular so far. What culinary concepts are available here on the Oceana Vista that you will not find in any other Oceana ship? That's a very good question. And actually the new culinary concept that you can find on board Vista, we have the bakery, which is a new French boulangerie. During the morning, some freshly baked croissant, mm. pain au chocolat, and it's opening from the early morning until 4 or 5 p.m. in the afternoon. Wow. In addition to that, we have a new concept which is called Aquama. We work in partnership with our spa, and we have uh, developed a healthy concept of food where it's open from breakfast and lunch. You can get some juices, some smoothies, yeah. some different type of bowl during lunch. We have a beautiful uh, avocado toast, which is available for breakfast and lunch, and is a nice place. It's a pleasure meeting you, and I can't wait to experience some of these additional uh, dining options that you mentioned. You know, in the last couple of days, my clothes have started to get a little bit tighter on me, but uh, I don't know, what that, is it the sea air or something? Something like this, or maybe it's the laundry. It's the laundry, okay, <laughs> okay. Thanks but so you, much. You look great. You look well, great. you know, look at me at the end of the cruise, because the food is fabulous. Thank you very much, and thank you. Thank you. The culinary center on board is a top chef quality kitchen and learning experience. Take one of the classes offered and learn how to cook like an international chef. These classes fill up very fast, so book early. And you even get to eat what you create. On every Oceana Vista cruise, there is an artist in resident that will give you art lessons in the medium in which they specialize to the guests. There is a new artist in resident every two months, so there is always something new and different to learn. We will board one of the ship's tenders to go ashore for today's adventure. And do I have a surprise for all of you? We just arrived on the island of Cafalonia in the town of Argostoli. And behind us is the famous lighthouse. Let's go out and explore and see what this island has to offer. Argostoli is the capital of the island of Cafalonia, part of the Greek Ionian Islands. Our drive from Argostoli to Aginos Monastery took us along some beautiful landscapes, beaches lined with rich turquoise colored waters I have ever seen in my life. This beautiful 16th century monastery is named Gerasimos, who is the patron saint of the island of Cafalonia. As you descend into the Gerati Caves, you'll step onto a natural platform called the Royal Balcony, overlooking a large chamber with outstanding acoustics, a perfect place to host a concert, which they do from time to time. Dragarati Cave, was discovered over 300 years ago when an earthquake destroyed part of the cave, but it is believed to be over 100 million years old. As rainwater drips from above, the remaining lime from the water creates these wonderful formations above and below. Do you know what they are called? I'll tell you in just a bit. You must board a small rowboat for the next part of this discovery journey. We're here at Lake Melisani, where the color of the water and the size of the stalactites are both magical and mystical and will take your breath away. The cathedral-like ceilings and calming and relaxing ride on the waters of the Melisoni Caves is a very spiritual experience. Back on board the Oceana Vista, we say until next time to Argostoli. A great place to start your evening is at the Martini's Bar. Great cocktails and great service. A beautiful sight are the red roofs of Dubrovnik. 
On my way to Lovenox Fortress, it feels like you are driving through the walls of the fortress that surround the Brovnik. It's a beautiful climb to the top of the Lovenox Fortress. Stepping along the way to take photos of this magnificent view is a must. After climbing 200 steps, we've arrived at the top of Fort Lovrianots. Did you know this is where they filmed the TV series Game of Thrones? To enter Dubrovnik, you must pass through a wall that was once the protective border of the old city. Once you are inside the old city, you feel as though you have stepped onto a movie set. Centuries old quaint streets lined with restaurants and shops are perfectly maintained to keep the authentic feel of old Dubrovnik. Dubrovnik's old town is also known as the Pearl of the Adriatic and it's also a UNEXO World Heritage Site. And did you know the walls around the old city are the most preserved in the world? You are surrounded by history and a bustling city of people enjoying everyday life. The Anafias Fountain, built in the 15th century, provided the city with clean water from a natural spring. What a beautiful drive from Dubrovnik to Kaftat a quaint village with a secluded harbor known as beautiful Kaftat was founded in the 6th century BC on the Adriatic coast in what is now Croatia. High above sits the cemetery of Kaftat, offering some of the best views of the Adriatic Sea and Kaftat. As we sail away from Croatia, we already know we want to come back. Great Italian food, superb wine, made Tuscanas a must more than once while on this cruise. The fresh, authentic ingredients and preparation of the food made this dining experience as Italian as it gets. The Founders Bar is a new concept here on the Oceana Vista. It's all about the art of making a cocktail not only taste good, but look amazing too. I am here in Zadar, which sits on the Adriatic Sea in the Dalmatian coast and is the oldest continuously inhabited city in all of Croatia. And I'm very excited to see the many sights this gem city has to offer. Zadar is a beautiful city full of many Roman and Venetian ruins like the Brovnik. The city is surrounded by a wall and there are several Venetian gates that allow entrance to the city. Started in the first century BC and finished in the third century AD, this Roman forum sits practically on the seafront and is one of Zadar's most famous landmarks. The bell tower is part of the largest Roman Catholic church in all of Damascus and its original patron saint was Saint Peter. I just climbed 183 steps of the bell tower of St. Anastasia's Cathedral to go to the top, and the view of Zadar from here is absolutely spectacular. It was worth every step. A magnificent monument to the sun, this monument is made up of 300 plates of multi-layered glass. The sea waves are the fingers that play the sea organ, making beautiful music that sounds like a whale's song. The Oceana Vista and the destinations that it visited made this voyage full of memories that will last a lifetime. Thank you to its wonderful crew for sharing these moments with me and making them extra special.